Oh yeah, hi. Uh, I have returned and uh, we're gonna continue, so... Welcome back, YouTube. Thanks for clicking. Hope you're enjoying. Okay, that's out of the way. Now... I just wanna finish clearing this back area. I'm just gonna run around the labyrinth, pretty much, and then we'll head out of here and head into the desert. But of course I'm going the long way around. What number? That's a good question. What am I doing? There. 842 and 113. So 118 is like the, uh, the sweet number. I mean, it's not bad. Without having gone into the desert, I'm at 842. getting there. I know what 843 is, just I didn't get it because I didn't want to drop down because I was going to go past there later anyway. So we're up to 843, really. first part of it, which I know how I'm going to approach, but the second part, when I'm closer to the Divine Beast, uh, I have to make up my mind on how I'm going to do that. You're watching the Mario Sunshine video I have on here, you're laughing so hard. Mario Sunshine? Which one? I played that game twice, once... Back in, like, the super fucking early days of the stream. And then I played it a second time. Which was when they re-released it on the Switch. I did not like both times. <laughs> both times that game gave me suffering. Two years ago, okay. Yeah, you should watch the whole playthrough of that game. It's on YouTube. It was... It was fun to watch. I don't even remember what I put on here. I think it was when I used to still put highlight videos on this on the Twitch page, because they were doing a discovery feed at the time, so that was when Twitch was experimenting with people actually having content on their Twitch page, and then they just abandoned it, so then I stopped doing it. But it, it's pretty much the same videos that are on YouTube, so at a certain point I stopped putting them up here because there's no point. I died, got the red coins and the star appeared, then I died and had to do the rehaul thing. Yeah. Okay. That that sounds about right. I had something similar happen in Mario 64 where I was collecting the 100 coins. I collected coin number 100. And then the star appeared and floated up into the ceiling and I couldn't get it. So I had to redo the whole thing again. The fucking watermelon stage. If you didn't see me doing the watermelon stage, that's, uh... Yeah. 
That's... That one was an experience, both times. The first time, because I couldn't do it. The second time, because it kept glitching on me. So both times, it was just an ordeal. It was only a 20 minute video. Go, yeah, I mean... On the highlights channel, I have the, the highlights versions of them, but then on the VODs channel, there's like a playlist that has all the streams. Like, in... In its entirety. I think it's under, like, uh, because the way I group stuff, I have a collection of playthroughs that have made me salty, and I'm pretty sure that one's in that that part of that list. It's just... If you want to see me get annoyed, just look at those playthroughs. Or just... yeah. Oh my god, I, I'm just remembering so many different things about that game that made me angry, but I'm not going to spoil it. I'm, I'm not going to spoil it, but just just know that, yeah, that the entire way through, just the entire way through. The hula guys, yep, yep. It was one of those games that I really, I, it's, I'm torn about it. Because there's things that I appreciate about Mario Sunshine, but there are things where I'm just like, I hate this game so much. Yeah, Mario Sunshine was a weird one with the Piantas, and there was a bunch of stuff that just hasn't really appeared in other games. You see them in Mario Kart for the Delfino Square racetrack, but other than that... It's- it's such a- it's such a weird game, as well. Just the premise of it. It's just the story that goes down. And outside of the Mario movies, see only other time that uh, Bowser's gotten a voice, and oh man, the first time I heard it, I laughed. It was, it was so off-putting. I didn't get to play it until I started streaming, because I never had a GameCube, so... I think the problem with that game, like, it definitely feels like they ran out of time for it. But I mean, there's stuff in there that's fun, but then there's stuff in there that's just, oh man, <laughs> it's the amount of attempts it took and just, uh, I got tilted so easily. Mario games I get tilted very easily if, if I struggle because I grew up with that shit and like it's rare for me to struggle at a Mario game and when I do it it just my inner child is just screaming at me the entire time like no what are you doing like what you shouldn't you shouldn't be struggling with this am I gonna replay it no it was only two years ago I've already I played it the first time which was for the first time I played it and then I played it a second time for the Switch, and I 100% it, and that that's enough. I'm good. I didn't think playing it a third time would really be as entertaining as you would think. Because at that point, like, I, I kind of know the traps, and it's not going to be the same. It's just going to be average. It's only been a couple of years. The one I do want to play at some point, because I didn't get to play it on stream, was Odyssey. So that is one I do want to 
go and play at some point, but... Yeah, I mean, the VODs are there. I can't replay everything perpetually. So I think, oh, so, oh no, a group of people missed out. I guess I'm gonna have to play through a game that made me suffer for like 40 hours again. The only time I'll consider replaying it is if it's something that I played very early on when I started streaming and... You know, I either don't have the VODs for it anymore, or the VODs are just like, you know, very bad quality, and... I would want a, a do-over. Unfortunately, the Crash Bandicoot trilogy falls under that category, but... That's not gonna happen anytime soon. Started watching the clip of I have of that too. There's some clips of the Crash Bandicoot playthrough. Particularly the one where the soul escapes my body and it just physically hurt. this is worth doing. I mean, I'll climb up here, but then this middle bit, I doubt it's worth it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you really want to watch me suffer, just watch me try and finish Splunky too. That's like, just, it's probably the hardest game I've had to finish in a while, and, oh man, that game made me so angry, <laughs> but I got through it. It's one of those games where I, I, li I love the game, but fucking hell did it make me angry. What about Banjo-Kazooie? Ah, uh, I haven't played that one, ever. I don't. Not sure if I have a copy of it, but one thing I want to do is modify my Nintendo 64 so then it can do HDMI capture, which it's uh, it's a work in progress. I have the board for that on order, and it's been shipped, so I should get it soon. And then I gotta like message an installer and see if they can do it for me. Because I'm not good at that sort of shit. I worry that I'll break it. And then once that's done, then it's like, yay, my Nintendo 64 has HDMI. And I can hook it to the capture card without too much messing around. I mean, Banjo is always like a... It's early 3D game collectathon style. People have a lot of nostalgia for it, but I just didn't have a Nintendo 64, so... But that's not to say I don't want to play N64 games. The thing that I will most likely do first... That I've, I've just been itching for a while... Is to do the Donkey Kong Trilogy, the original three, because it's been a very long time since I've played them. I haven't actually played Donkey Kong Country 2 properly. Like, I, I played it... When I used to go to a friend's house, and it was, you know, very erratic. I've just been feeling, feeling the need to play that. And they're not, they're not long games. Like, it's something that once Tears of the Kingdom releases, then, you know, I can go back to having a second game in the rotation. Because right now, I, I know it's been very Zelda heavy, and I've put stuff on the back burner for the time being, just to make sure I get through these games. 
but it's all right. It's we'll go back to normal in a couple of weeks. Once the excitement of Tears of the Kingdom is like out of the hole, I want to play this for eight hours straight. Um, then I'll go back to having a rotation of stuff going on here. And they're not easy games, I can, I can definitely see myself getting annoyed at them. There are some levels in particular that I, I know. Did I have Sega as a kid? I did not, my cousin did. But I didn't get to play many games, like, um... The only games that I saw for that were... That I have memories of. Alex the Kid, uh... Sonic 1 to some degree. Uh, Mickey Mouse's Castle of Illusion, which I think was like a Master System game. Uh, there was one that was kind of like Castlevania. I forget what it was called. I think it was called Master of Darkness. I'm missing one. Which one am I missing? I'm forgetting one. I was I was really young at the time, so. When he had the master system, and then he got a Mega Drive, but he didn't really have or sorry, a Genesis, I should say. Um, but he didn't get many games for it. And I didn't really look at the Genesis games, they just didn't interest me. As a king, you'd got, as a kid, you'd got in a Lion King game, you could not get past level 2. I can't remember which one of the Lion King games was infamous. Because there was two versions of it, there was the Genesis version and there was the Super Nintendo version. And one of them was just infamous for being just stupidly difficult. I'm not sure which one. I don't really know much about Sega games, but that being said, I do have a way of playing them legit if I really want to look into them, because they're not expensive games to pick up. If I want to play a particular game legit. Well, yeah, I have, I have the ability to do it. It's just... It's just one of those things. Wish I had more time. <laughs> and ultimately it, it gets sort of dictated by, I guess, what people want to see as a collective. made the mistake. Whoa, camera, what are you doing? <laughs> Cut back. As far as old games, the ones that definitely you're gonna see, I'm not gonna put a timeline on them, but the Donkey Kong original trilogy, um, the classic Metroid games, Wario Land 3 and 4, and Wario World. Uh, the ones that I'm, like, for sure doing. Hey, Hyper Kirby. 
Uh, how goes life? Oh, you know, just busy with work, but otherwise good. Otherwise good. Just working my way through this try. I've got a week. I've got a week. I've got about a week and a bit to get through this, so. Nearly there. The warrior games are fun. The warrior games are a lot of fun. If you want a good idea, I'll just watch me play through Warrior Land 2. That was a that was a fun set of streams. Cause the uh, Warrior Land 1 and 2 were the ones I had on Game Boy as a kid. So Of course, when I play warrior games, I do the the, the funny haha -ha voice, the funny haha -ha warrior voice. I swear that was one of the the entry. Or am I wrong? The moment I land, it's going to do the cutscene. No? Okay. I swear there was one here, but maybe I'm not remembering correctly. That doesn't matter. Okay. So, it's just the, this pocket. That's all that's left. <laughs> Ugh. Want me to be careful on the internet because the entire Tears of the Kingdom game got leaked. No, I know. I've, I've, I've heard. It was a discussion point a few times today with multiple people. It's just, yo, avoid Reddit, avoid um, anywhere where you're watching sh shorts or stuff like TikTok because it's just that shit will autoplay. I mean, sometimes it's just... That's the risk you take by using social media sites. Hi. I thankfully don't browse them, really, so... Other than if I need to post content. Oh hey, I've been waiting for you. Oh. You saved them. I thought my friends were dead, but you brought them all back to me. I can't thank you enough. My friends said you were outnumbered, but you still were able to take those monsters down with style. As soon as they got back safely, a wave of emotion washed over me. Thank you. Thank you so much. I want you to have this. Mm. Sorry it's so small. Everyone chipped in for it, but we're in the middle of traveling, you know? In a way, I'm glad all of this happened. It helped me realize just how important friendship is. Opening up to others might make you more vulnerable, but it's the only way to give your life any value. That said, caring for others is an emotional liability, so my friends and I have decided to part ways. Not really, but the takeaway is here. No, like, the actual file dump. Like, it's been dumped. By leak, it's like, we're talking, you know, full-fledged, no, they have the retail copy. Which, that's to be expected. The game's a week away from release. That's just, it's standard. I don't look into that shit. I, I, I just want, wanna avoid anyone talking about it, that's all. So, you know, people are going to start posting videos of it. I guess that's the thing. If they haven't already, like, I, I, I'm not sure. They probably have. Coming up. You'd be too afraid of Nintendo's wrath. Yeah. And there are some people that just don't give a shit.
or they don't take that into consideration. Okay, where is this one? Oh, yeah, nice, nice boulder. I mean, there's a stone here, but I doubt it's that. What is this pointing at? Because I couldn't find anything on the high ground. Is this another one of these ones that I'm going to hate? Yeah, just, just wait until uh, this whole Tears of the Kingdom thing is up and running, then yeah, we'll start seeing different stuff here. There's always, uh, uh, there's always a, a selection. I can either go with nostalgia or I can pick stuff that'll make me suffer. I have a list of shit that can make me suffer, but I'm not... I'm not opting to play it at the moment. Ah. Oh. Wow, that... That didn't appear when I was here the first time. That's a sneaky one. Okay, that's 843. I can remove the stamp. Alright, onwards. Is this... is this normal? Like, this just seems... a bit of a dick move. No, you hate Link wears green, so what color do they make the champion's tunic blue? <laughs> I mean, the, the, the thing is, the champion's tunic just isn't about Link, it's them as a collective. I mean, okay. Let's say it was green, how would everyone else look wearing green? I don't, I don't think it would fit as well. I feel like anyone wearing green in this in this game that's close to Link's armor, you just see them as a bootleg Link. Dying it would have been a good option. That would have been a good middle ground. You're right there. But like the choice in the blue color, I think it's purely because it's just otherwise it's seen as bootleg for the rest of them to wear it. Thank you. 
Just looking up that needed attention or not. The Hylian gear looks great if died to the correct color scheme. But the Hylian tunic only goes up to 20 armor and the champion's tunic goes up to 32. Ah! I mean, just art choice at the end of the day. So then it is known that I have done this properly. <laughs> Just because otherwise I'm going to think, oh no, come back here. This area is so wide and open. This is interesting. I didn't do this. Why? There's got to be a reason why. Just don't make the sound effect. That's sad and Link doesn't wear green. You can make Link wear green, ultimately. But you're right, I do miss some of the fanfare stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if someone on PC would mod it. <laughs> like the ROM. To make it play all those old fanfare things. I mean, if they can make the Glider Buzz Lightyear and the High Nox Shrek, I'm sure they can mod the old sound effects in. Just to be clear, Nintendo, I am playing vanilla. Here's, here's your precious Nintendo Switch running here. <laughs> and all the money I've spent. This was not worth the time investment, but it would have bothered me otherwise. A nice thing would be if they expanded the soundtrack in tears, but I don't know if they will. I got the feeling it's just going to be the same thing. Wait, where am I right now? Oh.
I mean, I like the ar the armor. I'm just sad that, you know, these are locked behind the Amiibo. Because some of them look really good. Just how visually how they look. Being able to wear the classic armor. How do you get the amiibo? You buy them. It's those toy figurines that they sell and then you scan them. And a lot of these ones were limited. They were ones that came out for different game releases. So it's one of these things where if you didn't buy them, like, at the time, they're just close to impossible to find at a retailer. Like, you'd have to go on eBay. But, you know, there are other means of, uh, acquiring it. As, uh... You can find sets of cards from, uh... From Ali. I don't even know where my friend got them from, but, you know... They achieved the same thing, but Nintendo wouldn't be happy about that. But I certainly did not put money into that. But I wasn't going to look a gift horse in the mouth. There's an island there I haven't looked at. I mean, most of them just give you cosmetics or they'll give you a treasure chest with stuff in it. That's pretty much it. And you can scan them once a day. Like for Tears of the Kingdom, there's one that's releasing alongside it. Not really sure what it's going to do. I feel like it's been announced, but I just don't remember what it is. This is one of these things where I want to make sure I did everything. Since I'm here. Uh, I'm gonna waste the stamina, but it's okay. Gammy, how's it going? Having a drink, but good. Uh, yeah, I'm doing alright. 
Not a, not a busy week for me. Where is here? Oh shit, that's the Great Plateau. That is a little con- that- ooh, that spot's a little concerning. That almost warrants me going to have a look at it. That's a rather big area to just leave. Why did- I, I guess because it was early on? I don't know. Just over here, right? Okay, directly across. I hate that I have to do this, but it is what it is. Come on. Is it an archer? It's an archer. I have to deal with it. Man, this game can be annoying with its enemy spawns. Are the squiggles on the map where I've been? Yeah, it's it's a tracker that tracks everywhere I've been running through. It's just to make it easier. I'm surprised I left such a large spot like that. There's probably a reason, but it's just one of these things that maybe there isn't a reason. I just... Because this area is an early on area. It's so deceiving. Sometimes it looks like you can stand up. I think this is just going to be a pain in the ass to climb, no matter what. <sighs> oh, I hate this game. Just start again. Link just slides off surfaces way too easily. perfectly fine one minute and then the next is just sliding off the whole thing and then you can't turn around and you fall I'll be curious to see why I didn't do this Oh yeah, shit. I'm in an area where it can rain now. I'm looking at the clouds and it just dawned on me, crap, it could rain. Ugh. I just got so used to not having rain for a while. It was nice. This is fine, as long as I get on the plateau. There we go. And then we can just... See why I didn't... Hmm. There'll be a reason. But that just seems like a very... 
Uh, no, it's not. It's not the Lionel. It's not the Lionel. What is... Uh, is it because of the camp? But there's a wall... I don't understand. Alright, you know what? Let's just see. They will either be a reason or I'm going to find a Korok and I'll be happy that I did this. So it's up the... Why didn't I do this? That was my bad, that was my bad. It's okay, it's fine. Where is he? It's right next to the bridge. Am I hunting a specific car? No, it's just I noticed that there was a massive spot that I just didn't explore along this wall for some reason. And I just didn't want it to be something where it's like, shit, that's a large enough area where it could very well be something. I mean, ultimately it was nothing, but it would have bothered me otherwise. I'm going there, it's just making sure. Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. The fuck? Okay, it's not where I expected. Why didn't this one register? Because I've been here. Interesting. What? It's probably under the bridge. Ah. Uh. How's that thing still afloat? Oh, I see. Maybe. Yeah, look, just take, take the punishment. How are you supposed to get that one? The log?
But the lock's gone now. Okay, hang on. It's gonna be ice. This is certainly awkward. Oh no, but it doesn't work. I think I need a- ooh. That's a really awkward one to have to get. I'll get the metal. enough time to do it. Oh, yeah. There you go. Probably it. I just need to wedge it in there. Kind of annoying, not gonna lie. There we go. That wasn't the one I was thinking of, but yeah, you know what? Still, not a waste of time. I mean, that's the thing. It's like, I... I've been thorough, but there's still... You just can't be that thorough. There's still gonna be spots where I imagine there's holes. Much like this one, where it was just this large area that I felt, hmm. I'm surprised I let such a large area go unchecked. So even behind here... It's alright, I'll go across the bridge again, it's no biggie, it's just... I think I know what happened. I think with this one, what would have happened is I would have heard the indicator go off and then I would have seen this one down here. Looking at the path that I took. I just didn't associate the noise that I heard on the bridge with it being there. Because they were very close together. Sometimes that happens. Either way, this was not a waste of time. This this was fine. There's another area that I noticed, but it's nowhere near here that I... I kind of have mixed feelings about leaving for now, but if, let's say, I consider my search done and I still haven't finished, that's the first place I'm going to go check. Huh. 
Good enough. All right, I'm going back. A little bit of a detour, but I'm glad I noticed it. In all honesty. Okay. There's one other, I mean, since I'm here, there's one other one I, that was like, it's another one that I took an assumption on. I just want to confirm that that assumption was correct. Where the heck am I? Um, right next to the plateau. Damaging me, I know, I know, I know, I know. Get through the pain link. Okay. Why well, is it damaging me? Because it's cold water. It's ice water. See here, I just want to make sure that the one that I was detecting here was just the one for the Shrine of Resurrection and nothing else. That's all. Because I assumed it was. So as long as I don't get a reading here, it should be okay. Well done, dickhead.
<laughs> yeah, what confirm it just said, like, about drinking water? I interpreted it as she's had water when the temperature was below freezing, not that the water was below freezing. That's the way I read that sentence, I don't know. Because by if it's like below freezing water, how do, how does that work? It's ice, isn't it? When you say that, I interpret it as went to a place where the temperature was below freezing and drank the water there. That doesn't talk about the temperature of the water at all. It's just saying I drank water when it was below freezing outside. At least that's that's the interpretation I took. I mean, it's just cold water, like, let's not be too pedantic slash semantic. Gee. I almost forgot what it was like to have lightning in the game. <laughs> it's been... The last few streams have been nice, because I've been in an area that has no rain. Honestly, it was... it was... it was nice. Not having to think. Not having to climb and slip. It's okay, I'll be back there shortly. I just... I needed to make a pit stop here, but I'm going to, uh... The far edge of the map so we can follow it along and, uh... Reach the shrines that are at the edge of the Gerudo Desert. Because I don't want to go anywhere near Naboris. As we have seen what happens when when that that occurs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna probably rest here just to get rid of the rain. Money, uh... Okay. Hi. Just a regular bed, please. Morning. Uh. <laughs> well, I guess whatever uh, guardians I killed the back, huh? Really, game? Really? Right. What the f- Yo, did the lightning just strike indoors, or am I imagining it? Chat, did the lightning just strike indoors? <laughs> oh. uh, okay, yeah. We've, we've definitely seen everything. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I swear it, it that was that was lightning indoors. <laughs> hey. This can only this can only happen to me. Yeah, it scared Beetle, yeah, exactly. He jumped. <laughs> And I saw the flash of light, like, there's no reason I should have seen that in- inside. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm. 
put a marker, so I'm gonna go clip it later, but yeah. Ooh. And it, it was pretty close to where I was standing, so it's like I almost I almost got struck by lightning indoors. Without wearing anything that conducts electricity. Again! It was pretty damn close to me. Can't make this stuff up. Yeah, I mean this this area I think is fine. What I heard was just a Korok that I found. I just, I heard the sound. Uh, which way should I be going? I guess follow the road. Wait, if you just want the horse to do whatever, just hold that all. And use the horse sideways. But they don't move quickly. Like, that is... It's funny that they have a button that is effectively, effectively treated as a... Uh, no, press this button as the, if the horse is, uh, is not doing what you want it to do. And the only reason to have that button... Is because there's a problem to begin with. <laughs> you wouldn't need that button if the horse is behaved. I hate this bridge because of how non-uniform it is and just the horse can stop. This is another area where I'm just, for sanity's sake, I'm just gonna, even though I don't believe there's any, anything here. Positive, there's nothing here. Am I doing coral cleanup? Not intentionally, but I'm doing it. I guess since I'm here. Like, I want to get to the back of the Gerudo Valley. It's just, it's, uh, if I notice things on the way, I'll, I'll be like, alright, let me just quickly do this. It's just, otherwise it would bother me. I didn't think that this area would have anything, it's just... Yeah. I got lazy when I was here, I was like, yeah, this is unlikely to have something. Huh. So I just went past it and didn't really bother. Yeah. Besides from this one. Yeah. And the trees over there. I think it's in the clear. Yeah. Okay. 
The area that I'm most paranoid that I haven't done properly is around uh, Lanero Promenade. Because there are a bunch of guardians around there, and at the time I wasn't fighting them, I was kind of avoiding. And so that mountain area is not exactly covered the best, but the other thing is the, the big mountain itself basically has nothing on it. So it could be where maybe I'm okay, or it could be that there might be a couple there. Don't know, but if... If I do have to backtrack, that is where I'll be checking first. Wait, what's this? There's a line along this hill, I know this, but that doesn't mean I have to go all the way on top of that hill. Okay, I know if I climb any higher, that's where it'll see me. Right? Yeah, here. It's not gold yet. I need to fight more of them. I think it's just tracked on an individual basis as opposed to... Dude. Oh, real? Wow, there's... <laughs> I was wondering what was going on. There was a single stone directly in front of the Pona, and the Pona was like, no. Nearly then, I'm just riding to the outskirts. Because that is where I'm going to climb up. Shit, I forgot about... Uh, I mean, it's like, it's highly unlikely. I might just let it slide for now. But there were a couple of spots along there. It's just... It's more paranoia, more than belief that there's something there. Here, right? Yeah. Okay, up we go. But yeah, I mean, what time? Oh, it's only 10. Okay. We'll probably get through the remainder of the shrines. I think it's 
within reason. Because the thing about the desert is you don't really explore it that much. You kind of go by... by major markings in it. So, like, you visit everywhere where there's a skeleton. You visit where there's a mound. Or, like... Yeah, it's, you don't visit everything. So it's not as bad as it seems. It's, it's a large area. It's just... You're very selective about what you actually go... Check out. Thankfully, it's not sadistic in that way. Or it distributes them into spots where, you know, they're just roaming. Where there's nothing but sand. It's, they're always near a landmark. That would suck. If it had to be a case of that. I kind of regret trading my, my shrooms. way. I mean, as long as this is easy, it doesn't matter where, it's just I need to head along the back part of this. Hopefully it should be enough to get through it. I just wanted to see where I was. Ah, oh, just do it again. It doesn't matter now because I got the cold resist. It's a tier two cold resist, but I'm running around without a blade. That <laughs> kind of explains it.
I just, just, I just really don't like the Gerudo area. <laughs> um, I should probably take this, the photo from this angle as well, just in case. And some here. Probably just not necessary, but for good measure. Confirmed you can ride bears. I tried to get close one, I guess, because it was already... The option didn't come up, but it was because uh, it was previously being ridden by a Bokoblin. Feels like it wasn't that long ago that I was here. Anyway, we're going to the ends of the map. Oh, what? Oh, shit! That was instant. Fucking hell, that, that thing already had shot when I landed. Jeez. Alright, it's not a death. I mean, maybe it's just the mountain bear, but, I mean, if it's all bears. I still think you should be able to ride any animal that can accommodate Link on its back. Oh, leave me alone. I'm gonna save. I just realized, like, I haven't found Koroks or anything in a while. I don't want to be put back, like, 15 minutes. I've had this happen way too many times. Really? Really? You're going to give me rain? So this is the part where now we don't have a map. I can, however, reliably get around here. This is kind of an annoying way to do this, but 
just have to put up with that. Link, please just stand up. Yeah, no, great design. I forget what this one is. It might be a test of strength, in all honesty. Or maybe the one up the back is. Nah, no, okay, it's just normal. Sort of. Kimazus. A delayed puzzle. if this is electrified. It should be. Yeah, this was, uh... <laughs> Very anticlimactic. I don't know. Some of these are just... Yay. That took ten seconds. Hundred and fourteen. Okay, uh, now comes the fun part. It's just this part that was... There we go. Nice. Now it's clear. Well, then this is fine. I can freely explore this area away from the Burris. Oh. I'm gonna die. <sighs> Fucking Lazalfos. It sucks because they can keep up with horses. That's just how quick they are. And they can spit water. They're just probably the most annoying style enemy in the game. Is this another one of these ones where I'm standing on an awkward spot? Yep. Yeah, ha ha! 
946. Probably not the best idea. This is more so just to show that I weren't here. I mean, I do find it funny that the significance of navigating with the statues is just lost because I went up the other way. Like, you're supposed to have uh, a problem to solve here. Okay, we're not cold. Yeah, fine. I'm honestly surprised there wasn't anything there. Okay, we'll see if we can sneak and get a, uh, a walrus. Or a seal? What is it? It's a sea lion. I don't know. Sand lion. Sand seal? How's close? It's been a while, I forgot what they were called. just glide to them, right? Like you're mounting a horse, from what I remember. There we go. Patricia the Sand Seal is probably a favorite NPC. It is a good name. It's funny when animals have human type names. Okay, stop. Hopefully you don't vanish. Yep, you don't vanish. Cool. Oh. That's strange. Usually when there's a pinwheel, you don't do that. No, come back. 
Come back, friend. No, that makes that makes sense. Shit, does a sense. Okay, hang on. Need a swap. No Korok here by the looks of it. I don't know. That's fine. We can navigate through this. Oh, that's not good. That caused it to vanish. Okay, we'll we'll walk. Thought I was in pain for a sec. All right, uh, follow this path and just don't look back. There we go. So we're on we're on the straight line here. Ow. Ooh. Yeah, this is where, uh... We'll start using some of the low-tier stuff first. Hydramelon! Those melons just remind me of Yoshi's Island. Or Yoshi's Story. <laughs> Vault fruit? I forgot about this fruit. Oh no, yeah, that's, uh, that's not exactly what I want, huh? So, you know, welcome to, uh, <laughs> the rest of the stream. Just looking at this. This sort of, uh, backdrop. I think in some ways this is worse than the snow. <laughs> oh no. I have to shoot one off. So it's like, hang on. Yeah. Yeah, this one has to be shot off. Yeah, ha ha. It makes it look like 
I've traveled a lot, but I haven't really traveled that much at all. Okay, that way, right? Yeah, that's in a straight line. I mean, at least this ice meat will serve purpose initially. That did stray a little. It's okay. I just have to keep checking the map. So things with names usually have something. Oh shit. This is bad. I don't think it's going to follow me. We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> I could have gone horribly wrong. <laughs> Just keep doing this, we'll be okay. Fine, we're fine, we're fine. Alright, so that is Molduga territory. The most Australian sounding enemy name. Oh shit, not good. Just keep letting that go, that should be providing me enough protection. <laughs> Think we're okay. I can turn in ways now to this. How can I see in my map the sandstone supposed to replace with static? That's a shrine that does that. It's not an effect just because you're here. Once you do the shrine, it's not a thing. Unless it goes severe stance on. No, it's just that there's a particular shrine that causes a static, because that's the puzzle. The puzzle is to navigate through the desert and find the shrine, but once you find the shrine, that stops happening. 
It's this one at the back, because you have to... You're supposed to follow a series of sword statues, and, you know, to make it a puzzle, they do something that scrambles your map. But once you do it, that's it. It doesn't scramble your map anymore. This is some more do shit, this is Mulduga territory. Okay, another Mulduga. Okay, I figured I'd come here. Uh, wait, let's see what we're facing. I'm so disoriented. That's mountains. We're gonna face away from mountains, so the Should be okay. As long as I get away from this. Well, I don't know what to tell you, man. Like, you can see what's happening. Like, I wouldn't be able to put it in any other word. It's another one. Yeah, I'm aware of the shield surfing not costing durability, but it's fine. I was doing it in the snow, just here, it's fine. Okay, now it's scrambled because it's a severe sandstorm. But that's fine, I don't need it. Yeah, but it's not it's not a constant thing. It's just when you have a severe sandstorm or well, there's a puzzle. But that doesn't mean you can't explore this map. Like, all I need to do is just... Oh, well, it's not showing now, but, like... Follow this. You have reached the edge of the map. Just keep following that. There we go. So just keep walking along this invisible wall. For the time being. I guess that's part of the reason I'm walking as well. Can you shield surf along the invisible wall or do you get stopped? Yeah, you got stopped. I kind of assumed that would be the case. Made it. <laughs> and now it's clear again. Yay.
Ja, ha, ha. So, 50 remain now. I need to take a photo of this. Quickly. Before it fades. Safina. No, I need a swap. carrots as well. It's funny how I wanted to take a photo and then the very first thing that happens is just sandstorm again. Okay. Boy, sweet boy, please. Listen to my story, sure. I am the Great Fairy Terror. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is 10,000. Ooh, shit. I don't have that, no. Yeah, well, about that. If I sell my my meat, I can probably afford it. I'll just have to come out here again. It's fine. I'm just here for the shrine anyway. I didn't remember it was, it was that much money. I thought it was like five grand. That's what... That's what I was hoping it was going to be. So it's another one of these ones where you're forming a circuit. Isn't that lit up? Mm. 
There we go. Weird. No. Just so I can get near these assholes. about this aspect of it. Let's... Yeah, don't touch that. Okay, that's one. Let's just... Platform. I mean, you should just be able to do this. Oh, come on. It's not high enough. Okay, fair enough. Oh, there's a current? Do that. Oh, because it's wrapped around it, apparently. Fix it in a minute. Wait, that doesn't do anything. What am I trying to do here? Hang on. Rhetorical. That's all that does. It doesn't matter. I have skipped a step, admittedly. Oh. No, it's a whole area. I don't see this. So this is just a bonus.
Damn it. Missing up. Oh, it stays open. I thought I got ahead of myself, but eh, I just didn't see that side room. Okay. How do the cogs run? Electricity is, is the answer. Electricity. Cool. Okay, where am I going? I need to catch a ride. It is daytime, so let's swap to that. They are not even touching each other. I mean, if you want to get bogged up on, like, questioning why a video game with a cartoon style isn't realistic. Sure. plan how this is gonna work. So there's Mulduga territory. I need to visit the skeletons. Hey. I just need to be careful not to get caught in that territory, otherwise that's gonna be a bad time for everyone. Gonna be a, this is gonna be a constant thing. I just have to keep checking once it clears up. Okay, now. 
Where am I? Uh, this might be Molduga territory. It's Molduga territory. Head this way. So as long as I stay, yep. Keep keep going this way. As long as I stick to the edge of the map, it can't harm me. At least I hope not. We'll see. It doesn't tend to stray far from its its nest too much. Okay. That over there, however, that's Molduga, and I think I actually have to go there. So that one might be tricky to pull off. Oh boy. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I might have to actually fight this one, chat. so it doesn't heal. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I forget that I need to get a photo of this stupid thing. myself more time. Oh, it didn't register. As long as I stop the regeneration. Okay, 
There we go. This is just so I can explore this particular thing for free. All those extra lives paid off. I mean, at least I got a royal broadsword, so that, that's decent. And it had attack up, so... At least I got that. I think it's some of these. Wait, where's my Korok seeds? They don't show until... There's definitely one. There's like a couple along here. I think I need a sort of... Okay, so this is Mulduga here and Mulduga here. So there won't be any. From memory, all these ones, all they do is just... Uh... They kind of avoid. Hang on, I'm just looking. I need to go back here. Okay, you know what? Let's just ignore it for now. I'm just going to play this in a particular way. <laughs> Where is it? It should just be here. Oh, good. Yeah, this is going to be useful. Um, hold on. I just want to make a few, a couple more cold resist ones, just... Oh shit. I'm an idiot. Using an ice sword. There we go, okay. I just don't want to get caught in a situation where I don't have enough cold resist to get through shit. Um, and I'll replace some of these ones I have. So this shouldn't be a problem. Okay, that'll do. 
Alright, where is this thing? Oh. Shadow. Okay, 851. I don't think there's anything else in this area. I just remember that this is where I actually have to fight. Okay, Sand Seal, where are you? Is there a Sand Seal? There isn't, so that's, uh, yep. Okay. We're continuing along the edge of the map. <sighs> At least these ones are not that threatening. They kind of do their annoying thing and then... They leave you alone, much like the ice ones. <laughs> All I remember about the Gerudo Desert Korok along the west edge, it sort of formed a path to that bottom shrine, but it's just because there's Mulduga there. I, I don't remember where it is specifically, but I think it's more or less, it, it sort of wraps around it like that. Or it's some sort of shape like that. This is where I'm using knowledge from the first time I did this. Make sure I don't drive myself insane trying to comb every inch of this desert. Okay, there's there's one up ahead. Those three cacti. I, I really, really, really hope that I've done a good job finding these. I just get the feeling I will have to backtrack. It's just... It's gonna be a thing. back. Yeah, we don't want to go anywhere near that. So let me look at where I am. Oh, yep, there's one. Dead ahead. There's more where those pillars are as well. Okay, let me look. 
I just want to get a survey before I sand some or some shit happens. See if there's anything that stands out like three cactus in a row or... Doesn't look like there's anything. Alright, so I'm gonna head to this rock next. So just head that way. Oh shit, there's a shrine here. Right, I forgot about this one. Still. Say Suma. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, I just found the shrine, too. Ugh, my throat's so dry. Can't move a muscle. Wish I could have one sip of an ice cold noble pursuit. Yeah. I forgot what this is. I love how she just doesn't get off the thing. But, okay. I mean, that's when we get to the Gerudo City, so... I generally don't remember. But it shouldn't be complicated. I... Oh, it might be like a fetch quest. One that's timed. I mean, if I was to have to take a part, uh... This is, this is the part where, like, I'm approaching the point where I may have to fight the Divine Beast, because I don't think there's any feasible path that I can take, really. It's kind of unfortunate, but... Ugh. But I always have to check this as well, just making sure. I mean, I think I've done a good job. I just worry about this labyrinth shit. <laughs> That's the one that I'm like... Uh... Alright, I'll, I'll play it by you. Sandstorm! Alright, I got to the thing I was looking for. I just can't plan my next move, unfortunately. was another pillar. Okay, thanks game. Somewhere around here. Okay, well, I'm on the edge of the map. Hopefully this clears up soon. Okay, this is the wall. I know where I am. Hopefully when I get to the top of this, it'll clear up. How has it not cleared up? Oh no, okay, this is the platform I was looking for. Okay, but it will clear up, sweet. Okay, let's look quickly. Uh... That might be on the edge of the map, so not actually accessible by the looks of it. So, hold on. Okay, uh, just... 
Right, let's just have a look. It's time to swap. <laughs> this is why I don't like this area, because you have to juggle two... two buffs. On top of the lightning strikes that, you know, can happen. Okay, I see a Korok ahead. I'm guessing I have, yeah, I'm gonna have to run from that archway. And I think that's about all I can do without getting too close. Let me look. Because the path that Naboris takes is, is pretty much this... This area here. And I remember that... At least it looked like it. That... Okay, I need to visit here. I need to visit here. From what I remember, the, the path that Naboris takes doesn't actually have any Korok in it. Like, I was surprised how straightforward the Gerudo Desert was, um... Once I saw... Where all the Korok ultimately ended up being. Oh. I mean, I think it's, I don't have a movement speed thing, right? No. Okay, it's a waste. I will... Oh, shit. I messed up. I might not get it now. Yeah, I mean, even this doesn't work. Yeah, I'm going back. I messed up. Going to save it because it's easier. to do was that. Alright. Load. I got greedy. <laughs> I should have made myself at least one move speed thing. Oh, it's alright. Okay.
Oh. Oh, just. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, to the right here, maybe, but other than that, I don't think there's anything here. It seems unlikely. What is it pointing at? It's... Oh, it's just a sandbar. It just looks more significant from... from space. Yeah, this is nothing. Unless it's up on top of this pillar here, it's nothing. Or maybe that one over there. Okay, it's nothing. Alright, so now this is the part where... Ballsy? Because I'm going to continue along close to Naboris, but not close enough to get struck by lightning, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, I mean, I'd imagine where those skulls are, like, probably as close as I can get. Let me see if there's anything of value there. There's... Okay, there's probably something here. Yeah, what am I looking at here? What is that actually pointing at? It looks like it's high ground, but I don't... Those rocks, really? Is that what it is? It might be. I'll just head there. No, hang on, what? So this, oh, it's this. Okay, what is this, if anything? This doesn't look like anything. That's a little disappointing. What else is here? Um, there's... Let me zoom in. No, that's as zoomed in as it gets. What is it pointing at there? It doesn't look like there's anything here, and yet from space... It makes it seem like there's something significant. Okay, so what is it pointing out specifically here? I'm standing, I'm supposedly standing on a landmark and there's nothing here. <laughs> Same with that, what, what is, what is this? Is, is it this? It's not even that. What is it pointing out here? I feel like this is an outdated map, chat. Like, look at this. There's nothing here. And yet it makes it look like there's an elevation. Yeah, there's, there's, there's nothing here. This is, this is just wasting my time. <laughs> I'm not going crazy. I, I went to the spots where it was like, oh, it looks like there's like a little mound or something here. I think... The map is not 100% accurate. That's fine. All I remember from the Gerudo area, the two most important pieces of information. It's simpler than I think it is. At the back here, it's like, it's a path. I don't remember what the path is, but it's like, almost like a snake. And then, here, wherever Naboros is walking, there's no Korok. It's only, like, right, pretty much right on the, as close as you can get to it, that's where there's Koroks. 
those are the two things I remember clearly about this spot because, man, if you think I was being pedantic here, the first time I had to do this, oh, I, I went insane trying to find the last ten. This is where we need to save and save frequently. It's a map from a hundred years ago. But that makes even less sense because there's stuff that... If it, okay. If it's a map... Riddle me this. A map from a hundred years ago. So we're saying it's a map when before this whole calamity thing happened. So why are there ruins of like towns? I think this is satellite imagery because it's showing... If you look at Hyrule Castle Town, it's all, there's ruins, right? It shows broken roads, it shows buildings being destroyed. That certainly wasn't Hyrule Castle a hundred years ago. Haha! -ha! <laughs> it's not, it, this is, I think this is supposed to be like satellite imagery. Right, so I'm not going to go over this hill because that is the perimeter of, like, Naburus' no-no zone. I need to stay behind these rocks. Man, I hate Lizalfos. Okay, I, I do remember this, so... Let's look at this. Right, so I want to visit that skeleton, but I don't want to go beyond it. And I want to visit that skeleton, don't go beyond it, go to this oasis, and then this area is okay for me to explore. So anything... Anything inwards from the skeletons is bad. What is that? I think that's where the shrine is that I can't do. So that's where the, the racing one is, where you have to beat Naburus. If I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong. Hang on, let me look. One of the one of these is a spot that you, you spawn on. I'll, I'll just play it by ear. It's fine. I need to get to safety quickly. Oh boy. Hide, 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 hide. As long as Naburus doesn't see me. Okay, now, this is bad, and there is a way to survive it, I'm pretty certain. So we're gonna bank on that working, chat. This is a heavy gamble on my part. It's either gonna work or it's gonna fail colossal. Col col a colossal failure! Okay, there's the thing. And this is where I'm like, the only time. Oh. It stopped. Okay, remove. Why'd it stop? It shouldn't have stopped. You know, it doesn't matter. Just be grateful. But I'm in a state where... This is scary. I think this should be enough to save me, to be honest. Like, I don't need to wear the shock-resistant gear. 
I might stress test it, but I'm pretty certain that this would allow me to survive. Okay. The skeletons are your warning. <laughs> Don't go beyond the skeletons. 856. As long as I stick to their cages, it should be okay. Uh, let me just make sure that, yeah, I'm not... Uh... You know what, I'll go to the Oasis first. Because that one definitely has a Korok. Nah, let me check the skeleton first. I'm here. Okay, hide. This is, this is very tense. I'm just looking. Is it gone? I think it's gone. Let's go a little, a little bit higher. Nope, nope, that's probably too inwards. <laughs> go back, go back. The skeleton, once the skeleton ends, leave, 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 leave. Oh shit, not good. Check the sandbar first. Oh, so here's the sand race. Okay, so then... Anyway, let's just go. I can put the shield back on now. Only now? Only now is it like, hey, guess what? I've been dealing with this thing for like the last hour. Come on. I'm aware of its existence. Thank you. Thank you, game. Well, because I don't think ordinarily they would expect people to go all the way to the very back. Because I think they expect... Oh, no, people will freak out when they... They see the sandstorm and you can't see anything and, uh... Your map is grayed out. Like, I, I imagine they expected people to turn around. There's no shrine here, right? Like, this is just... Okay, well, I'm gonna look around and see. Doesn't even look like there's a Korok here, either. Oh, shit! I don't have the mask on. Right, I took it off, I took it off. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to go back. I took it off because of the electricity thing. 
Jeez, that would have been bad. Quests? Okay. This is just this is just an inn, so nothing. Isn't there someone here? The Rito, there we go. Good morning, though it's Savota in Gerudo, isn't it? But before you s I say any more, have we met before? I came from Rito Village. Rito Village? Yes, Rito Village. Far to the north of here, it's a modest village on the Tabantha frontier. I had a great plan, you know. I left Rito Village to try and earn some money out in the world. But it's so incredibly hot during the day. It's been tough to work up the will to go any further. I'd like to see what Gerudo Town looks like, even if I can't go inside. It's just hot. Heard there's an elixir. Uh. Okay. Calling parts, but... Well, the monsters here are tough to say, least, so I'm having success getting myself motivated. Uh. Oh. Mm. Okay, well... I'll make it. Um, it's just called Darner. Where is it? I got other means to make cold stuff. This is just specifically for the quest. I don't know why I made him a good one. I could have just made him a basic one and it would have been fine. Oh. Now I can get across the desert while it's still light out. 50 rupees. Yeah, not worth it. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. I honestly have more than enough to survive this area. I'm gonna have to go back through that path. Ooh. I'm talking to everyone because I want to make sure that there isn't the lady that I need to bring back for clothing. Savak. Ronson, this is the one. Savak, who are you? Uh, you, you're a vote, aren't you? I am, why? Mm -hmm. Hmm, no, I bet my mama would have a problem with a delicate vote like you. Oh yes, I'm Ronson. I hail from Gerudo Town. I'm in search for the love of my life, but I'm exhausted by it. Search? Ugh, I don't even know why I'm even saying this. It's no business of a Hylian like you, but I'm constantly being bothered by my mother over not having found the love of my life. Why the rush? You don't know, really? It's incredibly rare for a male to be born to the Gerudo. For our own survival as people, we travel to find husbands. I've proven myself to be a gifted tailor, but none of the Vo I've met seem to appreciate a well-hemmed garment. I was hoping my craft would help me find a mate, but it doesn't seem like there's much work for a tailor around here. I wonder if there's really someone out there for me. Go to Tarrytown. Eh? What is it? So abrupt, too. Let me hear the details. Hudson in Tarrytown needs a tailor. It's something, I suppose. The Akala region is far away, but I maybe I need to travel. Getting far away from a village full of Vi. But it's not like I'm accomplishing anything by staying here. I can continue my search in Tarrytown. Thanks for all the information. I'm going to go home and pack a huge bag. It'll be a long journey all the way there. I'll no doubt see you again in Tarrytown. Okay, good. Sorted. <laughs> Marry her. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna have to risk my life again. Which okay. Oh, you know what? No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. See now this is this is where the shit matters. Before it didn't matter. It was like I wasn't really planning on uh yeah. 
risking my life that much, but now it absolutely fucking matters. gonna regret it but I'm gonna go back where I came from not too far like I'm gonna go just to where is it oh it's not that hang on which core up is it you know what? It, it doesn't matter I'm just gonna walk back there I'm gonna regret it otherwise so hey Monolith, how's it going uh yeah it's going well just busy week but Trying to finish this up before the new game launches. I'm I'm starting to run out of time, but we're getting there. How's how's things? Okay, let's go to the rib cages. I thought I was being clever, but I was not being clever at all. This is as far as I want. I think this is as far as I want. Quickly. Okay. This is this is scary shit. <laughs> it's been super stressful lately, but things are looking up again. Oh, dude, sorry to hear. But glad to hear that things are getting better. Oh no, this is a mistake. It's alright, it's walking away, but I just wanted to see. It is it is pretty much how I remember it. It's like the rocks are your line of safety. Man, I can't tell how, how I can't tell how far back I'm gonna have to go. Because I stopped I don't know when when I got attacked, but I took off the mask just to prevent my death. Not that I needed it, but Alright, fuck it. I'm just gonna walk further back. Just follow this line. I can't remember which was the core. There was one Korok I found. I don't think it was this one. It may have been the one before it, and then I got attacked. So from that point, that's what I'm trying to fill in. Okay, I recognize this one. All right, so this one is here. Okay, go a little bit. Hang on. One, two... Where's that the third one? The third one's further back, right? Yeah. Shit. Okay, remove. Damn it. It's okay. See? It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I was worried for nothing. It's okay. The shock resist. Yeah, it saves. Saves lives. <laughs> it's not an insta kill. It's still scary, but yeah, I, I can be naked, so I don't have to apply clothing. 
but I will apply the buff, the health buff. So I have the capability to survive, despite this thing roaming. I don't even know where, where am I now. Like, it's not catastrophic if I get hit by it, as long as I have the resist up. It just seems like it's gonna insta-kill you, but it doesn't. As long as I, I'm away from it, yeah, that's fine. So, if I get away from it quick enough, it should be okay. Okay, I'm gonna re-equip this. I'm gonna regret this, but do it. Oh shit, there's a Korok here. Where? I think this is the one I probably missed. Okay, now I actually- Oh, I need to swap my buffs now. It's too hot. Okay. As long as I'm careful around the Boris, it should be okay. Alright, where is this one? This is this is annoying. Sir. I think. I hope. Oh no, it's a chest. It has to be in one of these. There's no way it's it's anything else. <gasps> oh, you dick. Quick, 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 quick. What is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> uh, I think I, I think I'm good. I think I'm good now, because it, I think it was here where it happened first. I think we're good to go back now. Where I panicked. I am so glad I decided to come here. Oh man, this would have been... I wouldn't have thought to look here, because I guess I always make the assumption that it's never inside a camp. It's rare that it is, but... Hmm. That was not- that was not good. Wait, where am I? Oh no, okay. Um, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Right, so... From where that town was, I'm gonna explore this. Then we're gonna go here. Do this. Then here. And then... I think... I won't be able to do all of this today. But I'm gonna go to the town. It's a lot. Where am I now? I'm right next to this. I think this is pretty thorough. Yeah, should be okay. I'm surprised I haven't died. I just realized, like, death count has been kind of... kind of quiet today. 
And it's not like I haven't gotten in danger. I guess the good news is I don't have to get close to the skeletons anymore. I've already done that. It's just... Oh, what is this? I'm surprised there's nothing in that oasis. I would have thought there'd be at least one. But I did look, and that was with the mask on. Uh, the clothing to get into the town as well. That's the other thing I gotta resolve. So the way with I should work with the sandy areas is just... Okay. It sucks that I can't rely on the map. It's just... So I'm going to go... This should be fine. There shouldn't be anything there. I don't, I don't think there's any need to go through here. I just can't see anything visually. That would make me be like, yep, go look there. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, no, that's not a sand seal. <laughs> Damn it. Run! Isn't there a sand seal usually at the entrance of the desert, or am I wrong? Why, am, why do I feel like I, I'm remembering that? I did already check the gate, so... Is that Beetle? No, it's someone else. Hang on. I'd like to travel to the desert to sell my wares, but I haven't found a pack animal yet that can get stuck in the sand. I saw bugs. What a living. No, I'm good. I don't want bugs. Oh, shit. Wrong button. It's alright. The sword is never something I use as a weapon. It's purely as a temperature regulator. Okay, and now we need to swap to this. Yeah, okay, this is nothing as well. I'm going this way. What have I found here? Have I found any Korok? I found one. I haven't climbed any of the bridges. Alright, we'll start with the high ground just directly in front of me. I'm kind of worried. How many are left? Yeah, see, uh, do I? I don't know. I don't know if there's 40 in the desert. 43. That's a lot. If I was down to 30, I would feel a little more confident about this, but 43 is still an awful lot. I got the feeling I've just missed a bunch of them across the map, so this is going to be a fun process at the end. Okay, here's one. Where is it? Ah, this one's easy.
<lacht> Shit. <lacht> das, ist, uh, das ist ein Shooting Star, das vorne. Oh, where is that? That's actually pretty close. I can get that. I can get that. I'm going for that. For once! Get it. careful here. Yeah, this is gonna be fine. I'll get it. Easy. No, don't you dare. The game is like really trying to not allow me to get this. Got it. I'm saving immediately. <laughs> not losing this. Okay, uh, where are we looking at now? Okay, drop down. Alright, got it. I mean, it's pretty much go where I was before. I think the good thing about these is... I can kind of see that there's nothing. Like, if there was to be anything, it would be... Yeah, they'd be like... Visible. We'll see. The, I've done the dead end. What is this shelf up here? It's up pretty high. Okay, hang on. I'll probably have to use stamina to get up there, but that's okay. I've just been cooking one stamella shroom as a recovery mechanism. to do more. Hold on. Really? Did I just... I guess I just flew over that. There you go, there's one.
Wait, what? It's not register. I mean, this is clearly one. Where is it? Do I have to climb? It might be above. There's no... I've been here, but there's no... There's no seed marker. Unless this is intended for an... Hmm. Alright, well, we know there's one here. It's just... Where's the actual Korok puzzle? What the heck? Okay, hold on. What, what seeds are around? There's this here. I need to jump off the edge. What is with that one? Hmm. Okay, well, the only spot, I mean, hang on, where is this? Let me figure this out. I guess we're heading there. That's so weird. And the mask didn't go off either, but that's clearly one. So what is, what is going on with that one? It's not already completed either, because if it was, the little seed would be there. When I zoom into the map, like here. Alright, let's- hopefully we'll get an answer to it. I'm not going to give up until I figure out what it is, because that's, uh... That is bizarre. You know what I should have done? I don't know why I didn't click. I should have gone Magnesis around the place.
There could be stuff here. I'll walk along here. I knew I would have to return here anyway. It's also possible there could be one in the actual Yiga hideout. I thought for a sec that was about to be one. to make it a lightful. I saw, uh... Well, th I mean, I got close enough to it, but just something where I thought, hmm, that could be a sneaky one. Maybe that um, that one on the wall. There may have been a, a formation on the wall somewhere nearby that I just had to mirror. But it doesn't look like that's the case. So what is this? Why, why is that one there and it's not going off? Alright, the, the only other explanation is maybe I've already done it. And maybe it is just a guide. What's the nearest Korok? There. Okay, we're gonna use Magnesis around here. driving nuts because it's it's clearly a Korok. Right, so here it is. So why isn't this anything? What's in proximity to this? There's a Korok directly straight ahead. Okay, let's have a look. That might be, honestly, that might be the answer. But let's just see. Ah, oh, let's see. Okay, okay. Okay, false alarm. Man, that, ugh, that's annoying. Okay. I got swindled. 
It's just this one. <laughs> I can't believe that. Ugh, that fooled me good. It's like a dog. Triple kill. Whoa, where did you come from? Oh, this is bad news. Okay, go. I said go! I feel like this one I'd be able Where's it pointing to? It's pointing to directly here. Okay. about this <laughs> it's not as many as I would have liked to have in this area I was kind of hoping it'd be going crazy here I think I'm gonna have to backtrack chat. I just have this feeling that... I mean, it won't... It, I don't think I'll be far off the... the goal. This is Yiga territory leading up to here, so let's not do that. But I, I just have this feeling that I'm not going to find... how many now? It's like 40? I need to find 40 in this area, and I'm just not convinced that's gonna happen. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna find 30 if I'm lucky. But we'll see. Maybe it'll be fine. I got that one over there. Right? Yes. There's probably one at those ruins. First, let's just get... Not up here, the next one. I will go to the town shortly. I think in the town there's only one, because I don't want to make it a pain in the ass. Like, at the very top, top, top of the town. 
I think that's a Korok up there. I think I can see that's that disc. That is, uh, yeah. That is definitely one. This is also where I think you resolve the cool drink thing as well. Or is this a shrine? I can't remember. It's been so long. This is the ice house. Shit. Okay, well, I mean, let's just trust that it's okay. I mean, I should be able to get a reading anyway. Okay, there might be a better way up here. Okay. How much do I believe that there's something there? I'm probably going to regret it if I don't get up there. Yeah, I mean, look. I'll cook when I get to the town. Pedantic, but I gotta do it. Plus, I could spot stuff out on top of these things, so. It means. I don't think there's anything on the ramp to this. It's. I think I would have caught it.
When you're up here, the desert doesn't seem so big, but it's massive. Just gets put into perspective. We'll be going there in a minute. It's just first. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go to the roof of this building. Which I didn't think there'd be anything. Alright. This is a camp, but if that skull <laughs> from earlier has taught me anything now, is like, I guess, just go past them, just in case. But don't overcommit. Go, go, go. This is where I have to walk an ice block. Wait, what was that? A, what was that prompt? Talk. Talk to what? Oh. <laughs> Call you. My work's done for the day. Come back tomorrow. Okay. I was surprised because it was just a prompt at the stairs. I'm like, what? There's no one here. Is it? This is... Let's have a look. There's... This over Is this what it's referring to? Okay, there's sandbars here, but I doubt there's anything. I think we would have the reading already if there was. That's what it's referring to over there. Alright. Coast past it. Just 
Just enough to pick up a rating if there's anything. Okay, there's nothing. I bet you that one inside the skull is like a once-off thing and it doesn't happen again. Shot's good. Yeah, I mean, I don't really see anything else there, so... At least that's the nice thing about the sandy areas, is just... Don't have to stress. You're the clothing person, aren't you? Yo. It's a bow. You can handle this. Deep breath, Kaya. Remember your training. First, you greet the bow like anyone else. Sava Sava. something. Nice to meet you. I'm Kaya, from the... From the Gerudo. I'm wandering the world, learning what I can, and seeking my dreams. And I can tell just from looking at you, you don't have a... You have a place in my dreams, don't you? Doing me for a reason. <laughs> oh, no. You're my dream girl, do this. Uh... Hmm. No, I know this one. My barber warned me about Vo who threw around words like dream girl around. Let's just forget we ever spoke. Uh... <laughs> just got taken a walk. I hate to be rude, but what's the point of talking to you anymore? Uh... <laughs> uh... Uh... <laughs> Oh well. Darko Chise. Oh, so focused just now. Do you have business with me? Are you spying? What? No, I'm not a spy. I'm a merchant. I may look not look like it, but I'm actually the leader of a caravan. I've traveled all the way here, but this town doesn't allow men to go in, so that's why I had to, um... Research! It's research! And think what you want, but I finally found some key info on how to sneak into Gerudo. What info? Allow me to share my heroic tale. It's been close to a week now. Guards have kicked me out more times than I can count. I almost gave up hope. However, I learned recently of a man that slipped into this well-guarded town. I heard this man is frequently traveling between Kara Kara Bazaar and Gerudo Town. I've been waiting and trying to spot him as he travels. It's the one that I saw. Stop, 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 stop. It's you. Isn't it? It won't work. And if Dora and Marina catch you, you wish it hadn't tried. Oh, no. It's someone. I came around for... Okay. Well, let's do this anyway. This is why I don't like this area. <laughs> it's the effort you have to go to just get in, and then it's just you have to keep doing it. Even when you rescue the town and, you know, everything's all good, and your friends with their leader, they still treat you that way. Mm, 
Dako Chize, in the name of the goddess Ali, I offer this trial. I'm sure you do. We could do the puzzle, or we could just do this. Okay. Hundred and sixteen. So really one remains. Which I think it's, it's the ice house one. I don't know. Cause the other one is just the, the, the drink. So. Okay. Where's the ice? I don't know. I don't remember, but we'll figure it out. Hi. Hold on. You have to catch up. Go, shield. Go. Going back to that town, then. You know what? Better yet, I'm gonna follow you. I want to see where you go. We're going for a walk together. Both wearing green. This will be the thumbnail. <laughs> uh, saves me effort later. Either way, we have to come to this town. Seven. Huh? <laughs> I guess let's see what happens. I 
I remember that we had to go on the roof to do his business. be wrong with this assessment, but either way. Car Bazaar, great attempt, still fair distance up here. If you had a hit, you should consider resting a bit. Though you are, though, even if you make it a 10, you won't be able to get in. All the same, you know, kick up a storm. There's this merchant. Oh, yes, and many, many more. That's just because all the merchants are gathered here, hoping to get access to Gerudo Town. They refuse to give up, even though they are strictly forbidden for entering the town. Although, now that you mention it, one merchant in particular did stand out to me. I saw a Hylian Vi merchant at the inn before. She was wearing traditional Gerudo. Okay. Ah. So it's a Hylian. Okay, hang on. I guess wait at the inn. Doggo. This is not here. Okay. Well. I definitely need more of these. Like one movement speed thing just to handle. Just to handle the fact that I might need to go quick once, so that's it. to say. Maybe we have to be here like the crack of dawn. When they leave for the town, let's see. Standing out. I don't want to sit here and wait. It's 
see what she says again. Before. It just says before. It doesn't say when. Also spot people out from here. Oh. Hi. Oh my, what a lovely young lad you are. Do you need anything from me? Hmm. What's that? You've heard about a man who snuck into Gerudo Town. Oh, I don't know anything about him. Sorry, I couldn't be more help. <laughs> Squint suspiciously. <laughs> Study her face. You're making my cheeks warm looking at me like that. You're very beautiful. Oh, what a nice thing to say. I'm sure you'd agree that these clothes only help my looks, right? Now that I think about it, this style would look quite fetching on you. I'd have to charge you, of course, but I bet people would see you completely different if you wore it then. What do you think? 600? Yeah. Okay. I have the perfect outfit for you. Go ahead and change into it right now. Don't worry, I'll look away. <laughs> they have a special cutscene and it's sparkly and everything, it's great. You look adorable. Just as I thought, you make for quite a good looking gal. That's a traditional Gerudo outfit. It's such a striking look around here, I doubt anyone would even suspect that you're a man. On top of that, it breathes so well that it's sure to help you deal with the desert heat, at least a little. I'm so glad I was able to help you out. If you're free to grab something to eat sometime, keep me in mind. <laughs> uh. Heh. <laughs> Make sure you watch out for the wind. If you want to get more ladies' clothing, come back anytime. Alright, there we go. There's our in. There is one Korok, and I think it's just at the top of the town, so... We'll see. I guess I should talk to, uh, the leader while I'm there. Just to, just to set that up so then I don't have to come back to this town until we're basically done. <laughs> it's just such an annoying area to do. This is the part where I have to break the rule of, uh, clothing. You can't just wear the face mask. It has to be the full get-up, otherwise it just doesn't work. Mushrooms, what else have they got here? Right, they have arrows. It's good, but I think I'm good on arrows for a while. Ah. 
What is it like? I feel like I've met you before, but I don't recall having any Hylian acquaintances. Especially since I've only ever served in the palace, I've never even set foot beyond the town's walls. I thought I could relax at last, now that Buliara has come of age. But then, something like this happens. I'm retired now, so there isn't anything I can do about it. What happened? Ah. A little while ago, a gang of thieves slipped into the place and stole the chief's heirloom, the Thunderhelm. It's bad enough to be robbed in general, but for the object stolen to be a valued heirloom belonging to our own chief? If I was still in charge, any guard who failed to catch those thieves would be doing some serious manual labor. But then they'd be thrown back into training all the way from the beginning. No exceptions. See the the rinds dropping. Litterbug. What's with you? How am I supposed to enjoy eating with you staring at me? Buzz off. You know what I love about this? Check this out. Right. I should have removed my armor. Not, I mean, like this. My, uh, my arms. Oh shit. Then I can connect this the fighter for the hydromelon. This is what I usually do. I know that was a bit of a waste of time. Either it's up here, I'll be able to see where it is, but either way.
That's it. Pretty sure there isn't a second one. this party. <laughs> I love how, you know, despite me clearly appearing from behind, watch. Yet another traveler. How did you get in here? Oh, seems you have something rather interesting there. It corrects it. <laughs> now I enter the room as normal. Because who the heck does what I did, you know? You stand before Lady Riju, Chief of the Gerudo. Declare your business, but come no closer. Hold on, Buliara. This one appears to be more than a common traveler. You there, what is your name? Uh. Link. And... What is it you've come all the way here to tell me, Link? I can calm the Boris. Oh? You think you have what it takes to subdue something as so powerful as a divine beast? The only ones who could ever control them were champions like Lady Ubosa. And all of the champions died in the Calamity a hundred years ago. Hmm. Hmm, well, Yara, a memory just jumped into my head. Something my mother spoke of. When the Calamity happened, the Princess of Hyrule placed a fallen swordsman into a deep sleep. That swordsman, much like our new friend here, was named Link, though it always seemed more legend than fact. But Lady Riju, do those stories not only not also say that the Hylian champion was car carried a legendary sword? I see no such weapon in this person's care. Hmm. They do indeed, if I recall correctly, it was called the Sword That Seals Away Darkness. The Princess of Hyrule supposedly hid it away in a forest somewhere. Mm. What of the device on this one's hip? It appears to be a precious relic of the Sheikah. I can't imagine they would give something so valuable to a simple drifter, can you? Mm. I don't remember ever hearing of a Hylian Vi among the champions. Oh. Wait a moment, you're a Vo! <laughs> a Vo within our walls is a great crime, but a Vo who is a champion... Well, we'd never mistreat a friend of Lady Wabosa, and if you're here to help us with Naboris, then we are allies, but we are still going to kick you out of this town, regardless of the fact that we are allies and we have agreed that you are not a threat to the town. We're still going to not let you in and force you to dress this way, because that's how we treat our allies. Huh? You saw it on our way to our town. Divine Beast Va Naboris, cloaked in a massive sandstorm, hurling lightning at any who dare approach. Hmm. We have to do something to stop it, but... We have yet to find any way to appease the Divine Beast on our own. If you are truly a champion, perhaps you will be able to enter the Boris and calm its anger. Mm. Lady Ruju, I don't see how you can trust a complete stranger with something as important as this task. Perhaps if this person was to first prove his worth by recovering your stolen Thunder Helm. Mm. Ah yes, an interesting suggestion. You see, there is only one thing in all of Hyrule that can withstand the lightning from the Boris. I, I disagree. I got struck by lightning exactly in the manner that you're describing, and I survived without your your precious Thunder Helm. The Thunder Helm, a family heirloom of, and relic of the Gerudo, but as Bulirara says, it was stolen from us. You needn't worry, Lady Riju. If he truly is a champion, this should be an easy task for him. Our soldiers can tell you all you need to know about the thieves who stole Lady Riju's heirloom. Head through this arch and it will lead you to the barracks. Then seek out Captain Teak and ask for a full report. Hmm. Without my heirloom, you'll never be able to approach Naboris. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I take heart 
in having such a rare visitor as yourself. Lady Urbosa must be looking out for us. Okay. Well, yeah. Like. Let's just set up the quest. What are you doing here? This is the barracks for the chief's guards, not a place for tourists to gather. We're on high alert after the recent theft, so you should clear out. Ooh. What? Buliara sent you. Ooh. My apologies. I'm the officer in charge of the soldiers, Captain Teak. The chief's heirloom was stolen by thieves belonging to the Yiga clan the other day, so everyone is on edge. Yeah. We've determined that the Yiga's hideout is in Carusa Valley, but... The soldiers are all exhausted, so I was thinking about requesting some extra help. Ooh. Hey everyone, listen up. This Hylian Vi has agreed to help us, so offer her any information you can. Ooh. Consider yourself a part of our unit. If you have any questions, my troops will be happy to help. Alright. That's set up now. I mean, I could probably go without it, but it's all good. Let's just see. Oh, the rental. Mm. It was over there the whole time? I thought it was strange that the sand summit there never lifted. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. What's a highly invited like yourself doing here? What are you doing? I'm an archaeologist of sorts. I was just poring over some ancient text that I discovered the other day, and I finally decoded it. Well, part of it at least. The rest is not far off. With this discovery, I'll finally be able to make a name for myself as an archaeologist. Of course! You and I meeting here is no coincidence. I've never been one to question fate. I can't explain wh why, but I trust you for some reason. I'll tell you the details of my research if you can keep it a secret. Hmm. Lips are sealed. There's a temple east of here near the entrance to the Ger Gerudo Desert. It's dedicated to the seven giant statues of heroines said to be the divine protectors of the Gerudo. It was at this temple that I originally discovered the ancient scripture. It reads, When the symbols of the seven find their place, the blessed path will be revealed. That's all I've been able to decipher so far. I be it's believed it once came... Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, like, I thought this was the other quest. Mm. Different power, right? They all look the same to me. Okay. Earlier I went to and saw a shrine that wasn't previously there. A new shrine, that can only mean one thing. <laughs> this must be a trial given to me by the seven heroines. When I beat it, I'll be the star of archaeological society. I'm so excited. <laughs> I hate that it doesn't just do that. But, yeah, okay. This isn't the one I was thinking of. The one I was thinking of... Ah. ...is the other one. Ah. Huh. Huh. Okay, I feel more stressed. Okay. What? Wait. <sighs> okay. Oh, this is, I see, the sleeping thing. This is a spa. Isn't there a bar here or something? Hang on. There's more to this. I remember you had to eavesdrop somewhere, but I don't remember where. Hey. Might be here. Vasak. Good as yours isn't open now. Okay. Where is this place I'm thinking of? Hmm. 
Might be further up. Oh. Really? I mean, I got an I got into that area no problem before. Okay, screw it. I think I think we're good here. I just wanted to do whatever I needed to do and then just leave. Because <laughs> I don't want to come back here. Oh, hold on. I think it's safe to say we're done here. I'll walk along the edge, but I'm almost positive there's just one Korok and nothing else. Oh, this is the place I'm thinking of. This is the eavesdropping thing. This is where you get the drink. Alright, and then you stand here. Uh. What was up with that little Hylian Vi earlier anyway? Uh. But go ahead, just hurry up and tell the password, yeah I do. <laughs> GSC Diamond. <sighs> Greta Secret Club, mm. who knows. plan. Okay, hang on. I forgot where this place is. Oi! These are rentals. I can't tell you all though, but this place is definitely not for Young Vi. The drinks are for the different than regular drinks. For once, they're a rare treat, ice, noble pursuit. You want to try a single drink, noble pursuit? Unfortunately, I need a huge amount of ice and fresh out. Besides, it's a really strong drink. Even if I could make it, I wouldn't sell it to a Vi, actually. What'd you say? Pokey Collapse? Hmm, I want to help her out, but I can't make a you know what without ice. There's ice at the ice house, but her legs aren't the best in hauling shape. Should I get it for you? Are you serious? You'll get it? That'll be a huge help. Poke is my best customer after all. I wish I could get the ice myself. Anyway, the ice house is north of town. And she manages it. But I think you'll if you explain the situation, she'll let you have some ice. You should know that she heads to bed early. If you plan to go out, 
head while it's bright out. Okay. Mm. Oh, young lady. Carrying all the ice through town. I can't let it stand. To the entrance of the ruins. Okay. Excellent. That's done. Bought you out. Hang on. What am I looking for? This door. Oh. G. S C Diamond. Oh. Alright. You can come in. There we go. Oh. Hey, I haven't seen your face around here before. Hmm. <laughs> hey, it looks like we've got ourselves a rare visitor. Oh, the skeleton outfit. I guess I have a suspicious mind, so maybe don't ask me any questions. I won't either. You're a member now, so thanks for your patronage. Yeah, and then you got like. Oh. That's a special one, made to use luminous stone. Trade me the materials and the handling fee. Sava, sava. <laughs> oh. I want this. Oh. 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 <laughs> yes. Oh. I mean, I need 10,000, but listen, if I need to, I'll sell the meat. <laughs> and it's enough to buy the whole set. Oh. That's it. Okay, now we're done. Um, I might have to... Hang on. Make it morning. Because it is night time now. Where's the, the cooking area? Or is it just outside? It might be outside. Let's see. No campfire? Where? There's usually a dedicated spot somewhere. Oh, what's this? Saba, saba. Mm. What's the matter? I managed to shop to specialize in hand, but I ran out of flint. Ten pieces of flint. Okay. It's easy. Here's some flint. Huh? What? You're just giving these to me? Sucks, sir. But I can't take this all from you, which just sucks, sir. We hardly know each other, and you've been so nice. The shop's been closed so long. I hardly have any inventory. Oh, of course. Now that I have some inventory... I can make a jeweled accessory if you're interested in something. Type as. Yes. <laughs> because. It's the most annoying one to have to deal with. And that also helps. Hey. 
Okay, it's time to leave. I just need to find where I can cook. Cooking classes, won't you join us? I was planning on creamy hot soup. It seems forgetful. Fresh milk, one vault, one hydromelon. But where can I cook? Isn't... I saw... What? But here, let's join us for cooking, but they have no way to cook! I thought I had it right. Oh, is it just here? It might just be here. Oh. There we go. That's nice. Okay. Didn't have many of these. Okay, and now, um, let's just sit by it. Morning. I think I have to wear the clothing for the duration of the, the ice fetch thing. But, yeah, we'll take that off as soon as that's done. Awesome security. Okay, eh, it's fine. It's a nice room. The hydromelon lady. Which direction is the ice house? It's this way. Little bug. And then they end up down here. Okay. Just have to wear the clothing for a little bit longer. Just until this ice house business is done. Might even be missing a, a shrine somewhere. I don't know.
I think this is where I need to use a movement speed thing. I'll save before I do it. Oh. This is an ice house used for storing ice brought down from the mountains. Seeing as we live in the desert, it's pretty important stuff for us Gerudo, so I guard the ice house, actually. <sighs> I see. Well, if Farissa wants ice, then you should bring her some. You're permitted to take some ice. You're taking the heat into account. If you move too slow, the ice will melt. I have taken it into account. That's why I have super speed. It's also funny that these bokoblins appear that have never been there in the first place. Anyway, we'll be fine. The key is just to stick to shadows. enough to ignore them. Otherwise this, yeah, this would be suffering. Forward. Hey, over here, this way. Bring the ice over here. Whoa. No doubt about it, that's definitely ice from the ice house. I'll be able to make a noble pursuit with this. It may be the best I've ever made. I've got one more favorite ask. Could you let Pokey know? Just tell her the best drink ever is waiting for her. What? No, of course this will work. Knowing her... If she hears a delicious drink is waiting, she'll come running. Okay. Okay, we're, we're done with the clothing now. We're good. I think that's all I need for now. Now I just need a ride. I mean, I could walk there, but... I may have to walk there.
actually not too bad to get there. <laughs> Just gotta be careful with Naboris. Well, the Koroks have, uh, yeah, slowed down. That's okay. I mean, there's... There's still this, more or less. And I'm sure there's a few stray ones, but I'm worried about... Just, there's, there's no way there's 40 here. At least 40. It's getting too hot. It's okay. Speed speed up's about to run out anyway. I'll try and cover more of this area, but I doubt there's, there's anything here. I hope I'm already worthy. This is a lot of effort. I can't take it anymore. I'm going to rot here. Actually. Huh? Ah. Did you say the best noble pursuit ever? Psh, I'm gone. <laughs> yes, just head in, head in that direction where the divine beast is and is striking everything with lightning. Do it. Head that way. Head exactly that way. Just in that direction. Well, we're up to 117 now, so there's one remaining.
Diamond. And that's 117 shrines, so... One's the Rito one, one is the Sand Racing, there's one other one. <laughs> the Koroks are the concern now. Shrines are, yeah, next time... ...they're done. One seventeen. Okay, chat. Well, this is where I'm gonna leave it for tonight. It's a good stopping point. I'm gonna pause so it doesn't reduce my uh, my resists time. But I hope you enjoyed, uh, I know it's Tuesday for me, so this is a bonus stream, because <laughs> I don't usually stream Tuesday, but I just want to make sure this game gets done before Tears comes out, so I hope you did enjoy. Uh, yeah, in the meantime, if you want to catch more of my content, go to YouTube, just search for this channel name over there, or go to shambles.gg. And if you're watching later on YouTube, consider doing any of that fun algorithm stuff, and I'll be thankful if you do. All right. I'll uh, see you uh, tomorrow. We'll continue this and uh, I'll have a think. I mean, we need to go up the western end again and just get the Koroks over there. But after that, uh, yeah, I'll think about it, but I'll set a plan. All right. Take care, everyone. See you next time. Bye.